My name is Raymond Thorne, Director of Campus Safety here at East Davis. I had the distinct honor of coming to East Davis 29 days before the tornado arrived here. Uh, my name is Tom Brown. Uh, at the time of the tornado, I was the assistant football coach here. In 1998, I was a student at East Davis. I was in my senior year. My name is Bob Southworth. Uh, I'm a 1999 graduate of East Davis. My name is Charlie Stry. I'm an assistant dean of students and director of residential life, and at the time of the tornado, um, uh, I was in the same role. I'll never forget, it was, uh, it was a Sunday afternoon, it was a beautiful day outside. All of a sudden the sirens go off. Um, at one point we had gone outside and looked at the clouds, and we did see a, a big black cloud rolling in, but we didn't see any funnel. Um, at all, and so we weren't, we were nervous, but we weren't too worried about that yet. It looked like the meanest thunderstorm I've ever seen in my life. When the tornado hit was about 5.30 on a Sunday evening. St. Peter and the other cities along the Minnesota River, he stepped out of his home in the farming area near New Ulm and took these pictures of the twister. It was, it was so huge. You got to remember this, this tornado was a mile and a half wide, so it's not your typical tornado. You know, they talk about it sounds like a freight train coming through and your ears popping, all that stuff happens. But what was a very short period of time really seemed forever. And I was living in the Swedish house, which was right on the edge of campus, a college-owned house. Uh, when the third siren went off, though, we definitely went into the basement to take cover. We looked back at the house and the entire third level of the house and part of the second level was just completely gone. on the outskirts of town, it was pretty much barricaded. All the roads were blocked off by state highway patrol and you had to show your ID to get into the community. The uh, first thing you can remember is when you go up to campus right on the old main there, you could see it plain as day. I mean, there was no trees. You could see the whole campus from 169. Um, prior to that, you couldn't see anything on campus except the, um, the chapel steeple. And that was down, obviously it was tipped over. So that was, those are the two main, uh, main things you can remember just looking at campus the first time. And I've never seen such destruction in such a short period of time. We lost about 80% of the windows on campus. Um, and, um, and the power was out at that point. Amazingly, the window company started working day and night to get us uh, glass for, for our windows. In the next three weeks, we went through every student room and videotaped all of those rooms. We set up schedules so that students could come back and collect their belongings that they could salvage. And the stuff that they couldn't salvage, we, um, had, we had destroyed for them. Um, and so without any roofs, with our roofs all being damaged, there was water um, seeping in everywhere. Um, and, and, I ne and I remember never really feeling warm. I mean, it was, you were sort of always cold. I'll never forget that a reporter said, Gustavus Adolphus College will never open again. President Sawyer had a press conference and he basically reaffirmed the commitment to the college that they would be reopening. Uh, that they were going to be starting to, to clean up the debris and, and make repairs that were needed to bring students back. And it was because of the right people being on in, in this institution and the, out, the caring of the people outside this institution that we were able to pull this off. And so we planned for about 200 people to show up. Um, somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 people, um, Dusty alums, um, came to campus. And it helped, um, and it was amazing. And I had my camera bag with me. Um, I was going to be going away later in, in the week for spring break, uh, so I had just bought film for, for the trip. And the college president, Axel Sawyer, saw me on campus and saw the camera and told me to, to go around and take as many pictures as I could. And they had uh, FEMA trailers there for some classrooms. 
because some buildings were shut down. As we were in the reconstruction stage of getting things back and running, they had two of these big tree um, blinders on campus, one in the northern part and one in the south. They ran for 24 hours a day, and all you could hear was the grinding. I've never seen so much mulch in my life. They chipped them up, just a whole tree, and they would throw it in. things that really impressed me the most being a newcomer to Gustavus and what really showed the gusty spirit here was the president, the, uh, the president's cabinet, uh, the all employees, faculty, staff, that it didn't matter what their title was, they came in and they did anything that needed to be done. Uh, and that, that's one of the things that really impressed me about Gustavus.